Hello friends, it's Imperfectly Jenny. Here we have January's I'll Be Yours Paper Pumpkin. I have plenty of cards to make. My nephew is off to Army Ranger basic training and school for the Army. And my bio daughter is leaving for the Air Force in April. So I have lots of cards I need to start making in preparation and all ready to send out. So let's open up, I'll be yours, and see what we have. Oh, this is cute. Oh my gosh, this looks like it's gonna be fun. Okay, so we have For You With Love, Wishing you a lifetime of love. Happy Valentine's Day. Some flowers, a bee. Thank you. Let's be friends. A big background. A flower. Handmade. Be mine. And then a scalloped edge. Um, so for you and then with love is a heart. Wishing you a lifetime of love. I probably already said that. We have some. I really need my pickup tool. I don't know if I'll be able to make this one. We may just be reviewing the box. A mint macaroon, macaron. There's only one N. Is the stamp and spot. Paper pumpkin, February celebration. <clears throat> Go together like birthdays and cake. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll be yours and a heart punch pack. Oh, I don't have a punch. Okay. So let's open it up and see what we have. Ooh, there's a lot to this one. Set these three items up here. Okay, let's open up this package. I have my Stampin' Block right here, ready to go. We have some twine and some, wow, I see what they were talking about. So they sent extra glue dots because these ones were defective, but I have my 3D dimensionals here and the extra glue dots right here. So we'll put this up there. <clears throat> we have some iridescent flowers that change color. From pink to purple. Oh, these aren't card size. These are tiny. It's okay. I'll figure something out to do with it. So these are just little envelopes. There's a bunch. Those ones. We'll set these to the left here. And then these look like more envelopes, but they have little... They're lighter weight. They have holes punched and they have um, some embossing on them so once we get to the instructions sheet we can figure that out but those are pretty so here's some tiny little cards these all need to be burn folded and burnished these stickers or punch outs these are punch outs we've got bees banners circles I'm gonna wait on these so I can stamp them in place like I'm supposed to this time here's some heart punch outs this must be the Valentine's Day one here's some more banners these are like tags they have little circles at the top that will punch out And then I always save this piece of cardboard for my bullet journal for when I'm cutting my Dutch doors. This one's really nice and thick. 
It might be too thick, actually. I think I'll recycle this one. So let's look at the instructions. First, we have examples. Oh, are these little envelopes for candy? And then little Valentine's Day cards? Too bad my kids don't give out Valentine's anymore. So step one is to stamp the background and labels. So that big background stamp is what's going to go on these cards. And then uh, using the dimensionals, adhere the die heart cards to the mini card bases. And then adhere the die cut bees and die cut labels using dimensionals, adhere sequins those little flowers to the mini card bases. Step four is to create a bag tag. Adhere die cut heart to die cut label. Adhere die cut label sequins and bees. So we're just going to review this. I'm not actually going to do this because honestly I have a turkey I need to get in the roaster and this is a big long one. Cut eight and a half inches of twine Thread through the holes in the flap and the die cut banner, then tie the bow. Place adhesive dot on top of flap, fill with treats, fold and seal. So I don't have candy. I'm gonna have to get prepared for this one. So this is just going to be a review of the January paper pumpkin kit. And then I will record when I actually do this one. All right, this one was short and sweet. Um, I hope that's okay. I will be back next weekend and we will pull this one together. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.